Hey everyone, welcome back to Code in Motion. Today we're looking at LeetCode code problem number 190, reverse bits. Reverse the bits of a given 32-bit unsigned integer. If we take a look at an example, you'll see this huge 32-bit uh, number over here. But if you treat this like a string, like a binary string, the idea is we just want to reverse this string. And so you'll see that 1100 correlates to 0011 over here at the end. So the first step in our algorithm is actually to transform our number into binary representation so we could better understand what's going on. And I always like to verify that I have the correct binary representation by just making sure that the number actually sums up to its uh, decimal format. So over here, 16 plus 2 plus 1 is indeed equal to 19. So that's just confirmation that I'm dealing with the correct binary representation. Now that I have 10011, I want to process one bit at a time so that we could reverse um, the binary format. And I'm going to keep track of the reversed uh, result up on top in blue. So reversed bits result is where we're going to store the result. Now, the idea is that the rightmost bit becomes the leftmost bit in our result, right? So anytime we process a new bit, we're first going to shift our result to the left by one in order to shift those bits to the left slowly and slowly at every iteration. So let's shift our result um, one to the left. And in this case, it's just going to be zero because this is the base case, the first, the first time we're doing this. And now let's add our current bit to the result. So in this case, the current bit is one. Now we're going to add one to it. Now we're going to shift our input to the right by one because we already processed this least significant bit, the one that's highlighted. Now we want to look at the next bit. So let's shift our input to the right by one. And now we're left with 1001. Now we're going to do the same thing on the next one. So let's shift our result by uh, to the left by one because we're, we want to move uh, our entire result to the left since we're looking for the reversed binary representation. So we shift it, it becomes one zero, and now we add the current bit to the result. So now it's one one. Now we're gonna shift the input to the right by one to process one zero zero. Now we're gonna process the least significant bit, which is zero in this case. Let's shift our result first by one, so it becomes one one zero. And then we're gonna add the current bit, which is zero. In this case, it stays the same. Now we're gonna shift the input by one, now we're left with one zero. We process zero again. We shift our result by one, 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 zero, zero, and we add zero. In this case, it doesn't change. Now we shift our input again. We process the last bit, which is one. Now let's shift our result, one, one, zero, 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 and let's add the current bit. So we're left with one, one, zero, zero, one. We shift our input, and we're done. Now I want to analyze um, the original input that we had. So it was 10011, and look at our result on top. It's 11001, so it is indeed reversed. Now for the time complexity, this is O of 32 because there are 32 bits in an integer, so at most we're going to do this 32 times, and it's just constant space. Now you could call this constant time complexity, that's true. O of 32 is essentially O of 1. All right, so let's code out the solution. We're going to initialize the result to zero. And now for i in range 32, for every bit in the 32-bit set, we're going to process the algorithm that we just saw. So res is equal to res shifted to the left by one. And now we're going to say res plus equal n and one. Now this looks a little bit funky, but if you're confused about how we get the current least significant bit, we end it with one. Now, if this confuses you, I encourage you to watch the video highlighted above. Leak code number 191, counting the number of one bits in a number. In that video, I explain how ending a number with one gives you the least significant bit. Okay. So in this case, this is how we get the rightmost bit of the number. And if n and one is either one or zero. Okay. If it's zero, adding it to res has no effect. If it's one, then we're going to add one to res, which is exactly the desired behavior we want 
as we saw in the animated solution. So once we have this, we're going to shift the input to the right by one to process the next uh, least significant bit. And then that's it. That's our algorithm. We just return res and we run this to make sure that it succeeds. And it does. So thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more content like this, be sure to subscribe and like the video and I'll see you in the next one.